young traveling blacksmiths are heading off on an adventure. All the journeymen who happen to be in the area have come to Erfurt to bid the two bon voyage. <laughs> Members of the skilled trades guilds have been conducting rituals like this for over 800 years. <laughs> 300 kilometers away in the village of Gackenbach, another journeyman, Björn Reimann, has found a job at a timber construction company. The family-owned business employs 30 people and boasts annual sales of more than 4 million euros. It's the biggest company Reimann has worked in so far. He's been on the road for more than a year now. I worked for lots of small firms, where everything was done by hand. I like that, but it's also interesting to see how things work here. On the road, young tradesmen and women who have completed their apprenticeship learned from master craftsmen with lots of experience. They are easily recognizable in their traditional costume. The tie, representing respectability, and an earring are obligatory. Company owner Holger Kappler recalls the arrival of the young journeyman. I was working in my office, and these two carpenters turned up in the courtyard and asked if we had any work for them. We talked, discussed the terms, and how long they wanted to stay. Björn said about four weeks, maybe a little longer. And that was fine by me, because we have a lot to do right now. So I hired him. The other carpenter moved on. He preferred to work for a smaller company. <laughs> Björn Reimann already feels he's part of the team. And they'd like him to stay. But he is on his journey, so that's that. Well, maybe we can change his mind. But Björn is already looking ahead. I have two more years to go, just living life day by day. I enjoy it, but I want to qualify as a master carpenter or go to university and become an engineer. But it's also nice to take your time if you can. Journeymen get union wages and pay social security contributions. They have to be single, without children, and free from debt. They either sleep in the house of their employer in a basic room or outdoors as in times gone by. When I can't find a place to stay, it's fun to sleep under the stars. I just keep walking until I've had enough and then I look for a spot to sleep in the forest. That's all part of being free. In Erfurt, the two blacksmiths are accompanied to the edge of town. The only luggage they have are these knapsacks and they're not allowed to carry cell phones. Journeymen spend three years and a day on the road. During that time, they're not allowed to go home or to turn back. Was jung, Fremdsteinauer Liebe tut. <laughs>